Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make some codes and passwords for your RPG Maker games. And yes, that includes passwords with letters. Alright, I know you're excited about the letters, so we'll go ahead and do that first. Here we've got a computer, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an event. Um, we'll call this password. Whoops, password. And going to go to page one, conditional branch, page three, if the character is facing up. Okay. Now, before we do that, uh, we're going to close this out. We're going to go up to the database, and you're going to create one new character. Right now, I have it set to one, but I'm going to say maximum two, and that's it. Leave all this blank. You don't have to do anything. It's super easy. Now, go back to your event. If the player is facing up, Let's say something like, this computer is locked. Enter a password, and then you're going to say show choices, which are by default yes and no. Perfect. Now, if they select no, nothing will happen. The event ends. All right. Now, but if they select yes, now we got to enter a password. So you're going to go to page three, name input processing. Now you're going to select your blank character and max characters is eight you can set this to literally whatever you want I would just leave it as eight unless of course your password has more than eight characters wait P A S S W O R D so under name input processing you're gonna double click conditional branch and on page two actor make sure you select the blank character it will not work go to name and this name is whatever you want the password to be so in this case we're just gonna call it my god, I cannot spell today. Password. And say OK. Oh, actually, create else branch and then say OK. So, what this is saying is want to enter a password? Yes. When yes, it's going to bring up the, the virtual keyboard. Whatever you type there, if it is password, um, then it's correct. So you say the computer is unlocked. You can check your MySpace. But um, for the else branch, that means if you enter anything other than password, aka the wrong combination, then it's wrong. So you say password not accepted. And then you can add sound effects and whatnot. So let's say OK and let's test this out. OK, so we're going to walk over to the computer, gonna examine it. This computer's locked. Enter a password. We hit no, nothing happens. But if we hit yes, now we got this keyboard. So I'm going to purposely type ah, password not accepted. But, um, and this is case sensitive. Whoops. The computer is unlocked. Isn't that so easy? Like when I found this out, I was like, how did I never know that? But I found this out a long time ago. Now for the more common one, let's do a numbers code, which is actually built into RPG Maker. You don't have to do all that name nonsense. Okay, so we're just gonna open a safe. Just keep it simple. So double click and they actually have some safe images. If you go to chest, no, SF chest. See here, we got a safe. All right. Safe, um, safe. Now, the safe is locked. Enter a combination. It's always good to put these little prompts for players because if it just goes straight to a number screen, it's kind of like jarring, like, whoa. All right, show choices, yes, no, just like before. When yes, input number. Now here is where, yeah, okay. Um, I wouldn't select variable one, I would select like, I don't know, a variable you're not using and just name it safe code. Okay, so let's say, we'll say four digits. You can, again, make this as many or as few digits as you want. So conditional branch, if the variable safe code equals and this is whatever the password's going to be. So if you're a Resident Evil fan, we'll say 2236. And then again, an else branch in case you get it wrong. 
So uh, if it's correct, the safe is unlocked. And if it's not correct, that's not the right. combination. All right, now the last thing we want to do is actually have the safe animate and open. Now an easy way to do this, just to make it easier and simpler, is set the control self switch A on. And then we're going to make a new event page. And again, I'm going to select the chest. Now if you remember from the tutorial I did on doing doors, up, left, right, down. No, wait, down, left, right, up. Whoops, which I will explain in a second. Okay, so first we're gonna play a sound effect of the safe opening. There we go. There's a happy little sound. I'm gonna wait 30 frames, which is half a second, and then we're gonna play the actual That's not the right door. All right, uh, I guess I'll go with gate two. We'll just say it's an old rusty safe. Cool. So play sound effect gate two, and then the last thing, set movement route. Very important, this event. We're gonna turn left, wait 15 frames, turn right, Wait 15 frames, turn down. And then this is where whatever the player gets, you're gonna give them. So let's just say there's money in here. So um, we'll say you found 20 gold. Now very important, just cause you told them they got 20 gold doesn't mean they actually got 20 gold. So that's where you're gonna change, oh, change gold and increase by 20. Now, this is where I do one more conditional, uh, sorry, one more self switch. We're gonna set it to B, and then new page, whoops. Oh, very important, I forgot to do this. Make sure that self switch A is for the second page. So first page, activate self switch A, which is here, and then the next one, self switch B, and you're gonna switch to the uh, the safe that's already opened. And the reason for this is they can examine it one more time. There's nothing else in the safe. Because if you've ever played a video game, sometimes you're like, is there anything else in here? I gotta check one more time. Otherwise, they just won't get anything, and that's not as fun. So there you go. Now let's test this all out. OK, so we're going to walk over to our safe. The safe is locked. Enter combination no. Perfect. Enter a combination yes. Now we say 2, 2, 3, 0, which is not correct. That's not the right combination. But if we say 2, 2, 3, 6, Safe is unlocked, and now it should animate. Oh, found 20 gold. Okay, one last thing. Uh, the second one where it opens and all that, set that to auto run, so it'll just happen automatically. Now, I don't understand. Okay, uh, instead of turn down, it should be turn up. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. Let's try this one more time, and it should work. Okay, now it should animate properly. Ta-da, you found 20 gold. And now if I check my inventory, you can see at the bottom, I've got 20 gold, all right. And there you go, that's that's how you do number and letter passwords in RPG Maker. So uh, make sure to put a lot of those in your games because they're fun, especially if you can find an interesting way to put the password or the code, maybe they gotta talk to some NPCs. There's, there's a lot you can do to add some spice to your gameplay, so. Hope that helps, and if you've got any other tutorial requests for RPG Maker, I will do my best. Leave them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later.